front of me are the recently released Yamaha PSR E473 and its predecessor, the PSR E463. In this video, I will go through with you the 13 most important differences in the latest flagship PSR E series keyboard versus the previous model over here. I will also demonstrate a couple of sounds and rhythm styles on the newest PSR E473, and you can hear for yourself how much better it sounds versus the PSR E463. While most features have gotten an upgrade, a few of them have had their functionality reduced. So do watch till the end of this video to find out what these 13 differences are. Let's begin with the key action. The PSR E473 continues to have a similar 61 touch sensitive synth action keys found on the older PSR E463 with four levels of configurable velocity curves. While the keys look and feel almost identical, it seems Yamaha has tweaked the action to be just slightly smoother on the newer keyboard. The difference is so minute that only an experienced keyboardist can perceive the improvement. The previous upgrades on the PSR E400 series keyboards were nothing to write home about. Yamaha usually just pop a couple more voices in the newer keyboard while giving it a higher model designation, hoping to stimulate stagnating sales. However, the new PSR E473 receives a significant upgrade with not just more sounds, but also a more powerful sound chip. The 62 additional new sounds contain 14 of the more expressive super articulation light voices. Polyphony has also been bumped up to 64 notes versus the poultry 48 note polyphony on the E463. The biggest upgrade among the 820 sounds is the default concert grand piano, which is similar to the sample found in Yamaha's flagship Ranger keyboards. Have a listen to how much more detailed and resonant the new piano sample sound versus the one on the E463. You can layer any of these 820 voices or split them across the keyboard for more advanced music arrangements and the legacy voices carried over from the E463 now sound better on the E473 with the new effects section powered by the faster sound chip. Do check out my list of recommended keyboards, digital pianos and music learning apps in the video description if you are considering getting a new instrument or thinking of upgrading the current one you have. Digital sound processing, also known as DSP, is what makes dry sound samples sparkle and come alive. While the E473 inherits the same 12 reverb and 5 chorus effects from the E463, the new E473 now has 53 DSP effects, a whopping upgrade from the miserable 10 DSPs on the E463. While the E463 can only handle one channel of DSP effects, the more powerful chip in the E473 allows it to handle two DSP effects simultaneously. Unfortunately, master EQ settings have been reduced from 6 to 4. Here's the new electric piano sound on the E473 with the more powerful DSP effects versus the less exciting electric piano sound on the E463.
The PSR E-Series portable keyboards have a range of functionality, making these keyboards very accessible to those who use these keyboards to entertain friends and family. The new E473 comes with 290 rhythm styles, which is 55 more styles than the E463, which only has 235 styles. While I was hoping that Yamaha would bump up the number of variations for each style, that isn't the case. We continue to get just two variations for each style with one intro and one ending. Thankfully, not only can we turn on and off instrument tracks for each style, the E473 now allows us to revoice the instruments used in the styles, a feature usually reserved for Yamaha's professional arrangers. If the 290 styles isn't sufficient, there are 10 expansion slots for you to load additional styles available from the internet. The style section is a beneficiary of the more advanced powerful DSPs and legacy accompaniments now sound even better with the new DSPs. Have a listen to a couple of the new styles from the PSR E473. In addition to the multi-finger chord detection, the E473 gets an additional smart chord detection mode which I am not a fan of and I personally never ever use. The onboard arpeggiator on the E473 also gets a tiny upgrade with two additional patterns bringing the total to 152. If you want an even more powerful keyboard with more sounds, more effects and more rhythm styles, Check out the video description where I review a Yamaha keyboard which you may find most suitable. The Groove Creator function is unique to the PSR E400 series keyboards. No other keyboards in Yamaha's PSR range have this feature. The E473 inherits the same 35 grooves from the E463. The fact that there is absolutely no change to the Groove Creator feature on the E473 may indicate that this feature might be deprecated on future models. The Quick Sampler was a highly marketed feature on the previous E463. While this feature has been carried forward to the E473, some functionality has been reduced. The E463 could store 5 samples at a time, but the E473 only has 4 pads to store the samples. Samples could previously be pitched across the keyboard on the E463, but this feature is no longer available. You can only play back the samples on the E473 as one shot or as a loop. On the E463, getting samples into the keyboard was quite a chore, and I do not see many owners using the sampling feature. You could only use the auxiliary audio import or load samples stored on a USB stick with the E463. On the E473, there are now more ways to capture your own sound samples in addition to the existing two methods. Samples can be transferred directly via USB from your laptop or smart devices, and you can also record samples straight from a microphone into the E473. Everybody dance now. These recorded sounds can be triggered as one-shot samples Everybody dance now. Or played in a loop during your performance. Everybody dance now. 
just like the E473. The E473 has two control knobs and a pitch bend wheel for manipulating sounds in a live performance. The two control knobs can now control seven sets of configurable parameters versus just five sets on the E463. In addition, the E473 now adds two more live control buttons, articulation and motion effects. The articulation button triggers an additional instrument articulation for SA Light voices. On the other voices, this button applies modulation to the sound. The Motion Effects button triggers one of the 57 patterns that allow you to apply multiple simultaneous light effects such as pitch, modulation and filters to create unique sounds. Something not possible with just a pair of hands. Onboard MIDI and audio song recording features on the E473 are identical to the E463. However, the E473 can use Yamaha's excellent Record and Share app to record music with videos which the E473 cannot. With such powerful features, I was expecting an upgraded system for storing user registration settings on the E473. However, the E473 has only 32 onboard registration memory slots just like the E463. A welcome upgrade usually found on higher-end keyboards is the ability to freeze style settings when switching registrations. The LCD on the E473 still looks like a cheap 50 cents display from a 1990s parts bin. The dimensions and quality are similar to the one found on the E463. However, the screen layout on the E473 is significantly improved and we no longer have the ridiculously large bezel of the E463. On paper, the amplification system of both keyboards are identical with a pair of 12 centimeter speakers powered via two 6 watts amplifiers. To my ears, the default EQ has been tweaked for a punchier and fuller sound output. Now, new on the E473 is the Mega Boost button that increases the sound output via the speakers. Do note that Mega Boost affects only the onboard speakers and does nothing for the line and headphones output. If you want a keyboard that can store unlimited user registrations, has a color, LCD and more powerful speakers, check out the video description. Connectivity options have been greatly improved on the E473. Previously, only the 76 key PSR EW410 had stereo quarter inch line outs, but these are now available on the E473 in addition to the usual USB port that transmits and receives MIDI and audio, a headphone jack, and AUX audio port. New on the E473 is a microphone port with gain controls. The onboard reverb, chorus, and DSPs can also be applied onto the microphone signal. This is the talk function of the microphone without any reverb or chorus. And this is with the chorus and reverb if you want to sing along. Even with the added functionality, you are still able to power the E473 with 6 AA batteries just like the E463. But in my tests, the E473 has a slightly higher power consumption and you should stand by a couple more rechargeable batteries if you are not near an electrical outlet. With the added functionality, it should be no surprise that the E473 is now 2 inches wider, half an inch thicker, and about 1 pound heavier than the PSR E463. Don't forget to check out my list of recommended keyboards, digital pianos, and music learning apps in the description. My name is Jeremy C, and I'll see you in my next video.